was and you're now listening to Swampland TV podcast. Yo, 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 what up? It's your boy at Pass, man. And we have here on Swampland TV podcast, my guy, bro, the Hokage, the big dog, big V man, big East Coast rider. You know what I mean? OG swamp from the bottom to the top. And now we at the top now, man. I got that boy Viane. I got my boy Viane, man. What's up, V? Man, I know there's no camera right now, but I'm, I'm walking out the ring right now. You know, we're going in there. We're going in there. I'm feeling good. What a, what a build up. What a build up. What an intro. Thank you, my bro. Thank you, my bro. Uh, pleasure yeah, to be bro. here, man. Pleasure All day. to be here, bro. All day, bro. So, V, man. <laughs> I got you on Swampland TV. I'm super, super just elated <laughs> that you're here with us, man. Tight vibe. So, man, I'm a, right, we going to get right to it. We going to get right to it. We going to get right to it. So, y'all, V-Man is a man of many assortments, many assortments, many talents, many, many backgrounds, you know, but we going we gonna to just go right straight to the, to the heart, man. Yo, so V, what was the first album? You couldn't stop playing, bro. First album, I couldn't stop playing. Oof. Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm, now, mm-hmm. It, it, I, it, I, I'm going to have two answers for that one. Um, I think, so the, the, the honest answer is uh, Celine Dion album, mm-hmm. the one with the Titanic mm-hmm. record on it. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, that was, I think it was gifted to me when I was younger. And I think I ended up having it twice. Uh, two people ended up buying it for me. Oh yes, so I used to sing New York City Opera, so that's the kind of voices. But the, the 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 first album like I ever bought myself that was not gifted to me was uh, No Way Out, Puff Daddy, uh, um, and, and Family. <laughs> Sick. Um, so so yeah, that's 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 there's 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 two answers to that one. That's there's sick. there's really <laughs> what found me and where I found myself in some way. That is awesome. That is like literally, that's very descriptive that's very you also it's a good uh exactly <laughs> if people want to know it's like celine dion and puff daddy and mace <laughs> that's the energy <laughs> that's puff actually the energy was on there too like it was it was the victory record was big i mean i just remember the intro of that record and then just the whole celine dion album i think there was what she had barbara streisand on it i'm pretty sure bg's was on that project mm-hmm. too I mean, it was just, you know, and this was back in the days of like CD, CD players, you know what I mean? So you would just, you had, I mean, you, either you listen to one track on repeat or you put it on shuffle or you just listen to it front and back. You know mm, what I mean? Mm, come on, come on, come on. Look, 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 look. I had to, <laughs> I just had to open you up real quick to let them know like, hey, no, this is what it is. Cause I knew you were, your first response was going to be something but very. <laughs> but I, I'll take it deeper though. It's now that you, ha- you, you even asked this question, it's like. It's it's you know we live in a multi genre world. So right now I just said Celine Dion, you know, which is more pop, big ballads, you know, Puff Daddy, hip hop. But then you know dance music, electronic music, which is something that, you know that I'm very passionate about. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know if you listen to the Dreamland album by Robert Miles. That was also one of my. Mm, first, yeah, I've, like, I've heard of it, but I haven't listened to the album. With, with the record Children, I'm, I'm pretty sure you've heard the record Children. But I, that yeah. whole album though was it was just like electronic landscapes, you know, trancey, just like beautiful melodies. So it was, um, mm. it was, uh, yeah, you know, it's, foundational it's, stuff. Look, look, yeah, check. and like you said, for people that know me, this stuff makes sense. You know what I mean? They're, you know, they'll be like, oh, okay, now I see. You know, I, Deltron Thirty Thirty. I don't know. If you remember that. <laughs> yeah. 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 That was like underground stuff. And that was like when Napster came about, you know what I mean? Because even acquiring music, it's like different, so many different ways. You know what yeah. I mean? Like back, it was either you got the CD and then when MP3s came about. You know, yeah. You look, 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 be bad. Hold on. Not even, I'm going to stop you right there. Because it's like, yeah, yeah, see, see, this is just a little taste of, of what it is. So look, I did this backwards. So people can hear the mind. And now. I want you to tell the people who you are and your words and your voice, man. Tell them a little bit about the V man, where you come from, bro. So I'm, I'm still trying to figure that that out myself, man. You know what <laughs> I mean? It's, it's it, the story continues to write itself, and I mean this humbly, just because it's you know every day is different, and it's 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 it's. Uh, I'm I'm in I'm in the music space. Um, I've been in the music space pretty much all my life, whether it be on the performing end. 
on the create event, you know, uh, the last decade, you know, it's been more so on the uh, on the behind the scenes uh, in many different capacities, whether it be A and R, the marketing aspect, tour management as well, um, a lot of PR marketing. I, I have my hands um, in, in a few things. Um, I also have my own record label, publishing and management company. So I. I, I I've just worked with a lot of creatives. I've, I've, I've just, I guess how, how the world, you know, how the life that I've been given, it's uh, people with talent. Uh, I've been lucky to, 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 to attract and vice versa. And um, I've, I've just been, yeah, no, I'm just happy yeah, that's to be amazing. here. That's you amazing, know? bro. So you're the, you're the whole MacGyver, bro. <laughs> you're the inspector uh, gadget, bro. You know, <laughs> we're figuring it out. And then it's like, no. Go go gadget, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean the truth it's is, it's like you know, it's it's we live in a world where um, a lot of people, like you know, let's sh- shoot. I know a lot of talented people that say, you know, I want to be successful in the music space. I want to have a big record, but the question is, you know, well, how do we get there, right? Um, talent at times, talent is never, you know, is is not enough, you know, unfortunately, mm-hmm. you know, um, I know very talented guitar players that, you know, the world may never really hear, you know, um, but it's, 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 it's just the question is if, if, let's say that person wanted to get serious, you know, how do we, yeah, how do we create a story? How do we create a real artist project where an audience, you know, shows up, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Um, that's, that's what I do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, who's cool. how it, what's gonna make the people grasp to this what's gonna make people feel like this is real but it's it's very it's very uh it's very simple in some way or at least you know I, I i like to break it down in just the simple terms you know mm-hmm. what i'm saying in just terms of just like you know yeah you know yeah facts looking That's... at it in terms of audience you know shoot you might you know let's be honest your first show you may only have 10 people show up if it's your first ever show Right. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's that's there's, you know, to project that the room is going to sell 5000 tickets unless you have a big record, you know, is is a very high uh, expectation. Yeah. Right. To yeah. have dangerous tickets. expectation. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. But it's but it's it. You know, I'm the guy that will remind that artist, hey, man, let's start with 10, but let's be strategic. Maybe we can get 10 people. But of those 10 you know, the majority are have audiences, whether they represent YouTube channels or whether they have Spotify playlists that they work with or just, you know, tastemakers in their own capacities. The, you know, it's such a strategic aspect of how do we then get to that 5000 cap room? You mm. get what I'm saying? Mm. Uh, I don't always have the answers. And it's 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 not that it's it's a proven science, but it's you know, it's 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 at least going with like a logical state of mind. Yeah. And that that sounds great, too. And that's really what it is. Most artists, man, what you're talking about now is literally a level up from the ground zero, which I had a conversation even just this morning about, you know, someone who was wanting to get into songwriting. And it's like, I'm not trying to discourage anybody, but it's like, you know, you know, why do you want to do it? It's like, are you trying to, you know, because a lot of people don't even ask themselves those questions. And it takes someone who doesn't make you know, their music to ask them those questions. <laughs> like, well, have you ever thought about this? Have you ever thought, you know, have you, yeah. how, how many people have heard your records? How many records have you done? Have you, you know what I mean? <laughs> people are trying to get in and break in and it just, it takes a lot and you need a lot of people, the right people around you to do it in, in an optimal okay. manner. I'll take it further. Are you able, you know, a lot of people come up to me and say, you know, like people with talent says, V, I like to sing, you know, can, can you help me? And it's not that I can't help them. The reality is what I tell them is that go on YouTube. For, well, for one, do you know how to record yourself? Because that's a big plus. If you're a songwriter, knowing how to record yourself, you know, is 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 our, is 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 already a step, you know, a, a, mm-hmm. uh, step one above everyone else, right? Just yeah. that way you can record, you can, you know, so, and most people say, no, I have to, I'm dependent on a studio. I'm dependent on a sound engineer. Nowadays, you don't need that. Now, I'm not saying that I know personally how to do that, but if, if this is what you would want to do as a songwriter, I would, I would advise you download one of these programs, maybe buy yourself a hundred dollar mic with an interface. You know what I mean? I, I don't even think you need to spend a lot of money Download the program, go on YouTube, learn how to record yourself. I th- that's that's value. Now, now you know, if there's a demand for, hey, I need a song written, you can move quickly. 
Um, that's just it, 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 it begins with that. You know, Thanks. then once you have that, then the question is, hey, can we start pitching to other people? And that's when, you know, you're, you know, mm. what's your credit? You know, mm. it's, you know, it's, it's knowing a lot of people in the space is a good thing, but it's, you know, it's another to actually have, uh, I like, I, you know, I call it ammo, but just, you know what I mean? That just, just mm-hmm. th- th- things to talk about, right? Yeah. Like, like, Something uh, to bring to the it- table, like worth it. Like what, why even, why even look your way when I'm looking at the thing I already like, I'm listening to the and, thing and I already like. <laughs> I adhere to those same, we all adhere to those same rules. You yep. as well, you, yep. know, you know, in the level you are, and me as well, you know, it's not because I know someone that's higher up within the A&R, you know, of, 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 of whatever company just because it's me that they're going to do, you know, that Ariana Grande is taking that song, for example. You know what I mean? It's, mm-hmm. it, it doesn't work like that. Now, you know, if, shoot, it, it's not to say that that's never happened, but that's not me personally, how I work, right? We can't, mm-hmm. I can't, um, if, if, if we'd go that route, I might as well just buy lottery tickets, right? Uh, just hope type that, vibe. Yeah. Well, check, <laughs> since, since we're, we're talking about some more of that and songwriting and, and, all of that in reference uh here's the next question what was your first big placement my um there's there is a few yeah, um hit it hit it I, hit it my first first the first exciting big placement so my and within my trajectory i've out of my like decades plus of being in the in, you know in the industry i've been independent uh between seven and six years of those 10 years mm-hmm. so one of my big, like my most exciting placement has been, uh, well, at least that like that made me feel more confident going into the independent space um, was the a Pitbull uh, placement that we got on his album Climate Change. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was a song that that my business partner, but also a songwriter that that I that I manage and, and publish, um, Jamie Harper. He wrote and um, and uh, well, he co-wrote. I'm sorry. And uh, Leona Lewis ha- happened to sing the hook of that record. So Man, it's, uh, sick. It's the pit bull and Toma. <laughs> and then, and then, and then. Well, so that's that's. So again, I got two answers for that one. Mm-hmm. My fault. <laughs> sick. Yo, you, you're pit asking, bull. You're pit bull. That's pit bull. But so that pit one bull. was exciting. I remember. I remember meeting my wife around that time as well, and letting her know that I had that placement. Hey. She had to be Latina, so you yeah, know. Yeah, that was big. That was big. Hey. <laughs> And, and my second, my second placement um, that that was that that was that was exciting was um, I published a, a share on um, on an album that went number one actually uh, on Billboard uh, because it had it's uh, the uh, Fifty Shades Darker original soundtrack. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, Marcus Ari on the yeah. Avenir record, and that record went to number one. Uh, the album went to number one on Billboard um, because it had the. Um, the Taylor Swift and Zayn Malik record. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't remember the title of that record, but that big record. I'm sure if yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that one. So, yeah, <laughs> you, we, we, yeah, you, you know what you yeah. Name was yeah. So, but yeah, that's my answer. That's super sick, bro. And that's like an and me knowing you personally, man. Like to witness, like just the growth and the levels and the hop, but, the hop and the skip, knowing, knowing the work, you know, knowing the work, knowing the, all the times, all the back end, you know, is a lot of people don't asking, know, you know? Well, yeah, exactly. And I mean, and right now you're asking my first big placement because mm-hmm. since then, you know, it's exciting placements. Um, I yell, I don't know if you've heard the group new jeans. Um, mm-hmm. I yell who, 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 who we manage, um co-wrote that record i think it i mean it has over 100 million spotify streams but it's i think multi-platinum right now Dope. um new jeans very exciting group right Dope. now in the k-pop scene. <laughs> um, the k-pop the whole k-pop scene is going up bro i mean it's been yeah. going up you know my mom's a super bts stan oh wow okay i didn't know that nice. yeah just to let well, you right know, right. my mom is That's like, she, uh, bro, she literally, there is no favorite. She like, well, my mom, you know, loves something. She's like passionate, like how I'm passionate. I guess that's where I get it from. But she, right, right. you know, she goes to, she went to the concert in Chicago. <laughs> you know, she has all their albums. She has their stuff, toy lines. She has their, <laughs> she's a part of the BTS army, legitly. I'm like, Yo, I love Yo. that. I love that. Yeah, man. Yeah. 
all right, then, then yeah, they're in good hands. The the BTS army is in good hands. Exactly, man. I'm, I'm honored to know one of the one of the generals is uh, <laughs> is, uh my boy's mom. You know what I mean? Is my, it's my crazy, mother. right? It's crazy, bro. <laughs> so look, here's a here's a.